I love how Return of Evil Papa -pa was very lore friendly given that he was using the Project Pike, perhaps we can see more of him in the future. Well I don't know about that, considering how Y Guy completely destroyed him by awakening a new weapon of Disorder variant, I don't think Evil Papa -pa will recover from that anytime soon. Truly we see the birth of Papa's strongest form, after years of training arcs during his ranked grind, his power is now tenfold, this is Blade Lord of the Deep Papa. -pa. Indeed it is, with just a small cost of his precious childhood core memories and a couple of chromosomes, you know, just the usual not so important things. I can say that this is Lord Wydra's peak form, but then again, we never know what the future of this game mode can enable our protagonist to ascend even further, it's getting me excited to tell you honestly. Regarding quantum computing, getting vanish with it really ascends into godhood, it doesn't break stealth so you can nuke enemy team for 1.5k late game without taking damage, hail Wydra. That's actually genius, but you know what, we're going to be a little greedy this game, knowing that the chances of such an event taking place are very very low, why guy decides to push his luck this game by combining quantum computing and blade walls. Whoops, I know that kinda looked like Y Guy sacrificing Teemo as an offering to the RNG gods, but I swear it's just a miscalculation due to Teemo having little legs. Or is it question mark? It appears that Y Guy overusing the weapon of Disorder's new variant last episode is starting to take its toll, making our protagonist completely forget about Cyan's passive. First round is not looking so good for Lord Wydra, should have focused on Ramus instead. Imagine doubting why Guy the Disabled Blade Lord of the Deep Papa, -pa. Dementia was perfectly utilized to thicken the plot and result in an exciting first round. The RNG gods baiting our protagonist to try the Vanish Quantum Computing Synergy, but a loyal follower of Wydra told me that if Y Guy take an augment that replaces his ghost, he would be locked away from ever getting Blade Waltz. Like I said, we're going to be greedy this game and take Dive Bomber instead. That way, when we accidentally put Teemo in a disadvantageous position, it'll be somewhat beneficial for the team. I must admit, a lot of air was hurt in that fight, but you can't deny Y Guy's effort for trying so hard so he can remind us to like and subscribe, as he intentionally made it look like all his efforts to kill Vayne were left in vain. But seriously, I've seen how powerful Vayne is in this mode that I can't help but worry for our protagonist.
Jeweled Gauntlet and Earthquake are super good, but like I said, we're going to be greedy for more power. There it is, Y guy used all of his rerolls for this though, now all we need is blade waltz, as much as double prismatic games rarely even take place, I have faith in the RNG gods that it can happen in this game. I can't believe all it took was for Y Guy to obtain quantum computing to defeat this team. I guess I was nervous for nothing, or in other words, I was worrying in vain. Vane might have escaped from Lord Wydra's psychotic anxiety, but every move she was going to make was already computed as Vane's vein got amputated by Y-Guy's quantum computing, truly one of the Vane's vein vein moments of all time. It was a quantumly computed calculated play from our protagonist, until Tristana disappointed every PDF file when she became Kale while Fiora started waltzing on our protagonist. I have no idea what just happened, but it appears that the internet gods are seeking Y-Guy's monthly offering. Fiora is actually the worst matchup for the Tank Brothers, she just effortlessly slices through Sign just like a heated knife through butter, and I'm guessing that we already know who will be Y-Guy's final opponent. Nice Ramus outplay on Tristana though. The final offering to the RNG gods has been made in the form of a mispositioned teammate, knowing that they still have a chance even if they lose this round, Why Guy hopes for a prismatic blessing that'll allow him to evolve psychotic anxiety paralyzing apnea to the next level. Sadly, 
Sacrificing Timo was not enough. Maybe if it was an enchanter they'll be pleased, but it is what it is. We just have to take second place this game. Not going to lie, it was very greedy and ambitious for Y Guy to even try to achieve such power. We may not achieve it now, but as he pursues an injured evil papa, he needs stronger weapons when their paths cross. <laughs> 